Good afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel. It is that day of the week where we have to go do our food shop and as you know we're on a pantry and freezer challenge and a 50 euro budget for top up shop which given the cost of living and all that's going on at the moment isn't actually that much. We did the first week, you'll have seen the meals the week that we did, you'll have seen the shop last week. If you didn't I will link the shop up here or up here one of the tops but today or last night I asked Carl what dinners he fancied this week so between the two of us we came up with a list of dinners as I said 50 euro is the budget for the weekly food shop I am saving the difference in a jar that I get left with out of my normal budget which is 130 euro so that will go towards the Christmas shop presents things like that so that's my just way of saving up a bit extra for Christmas so I'll show you what's in the fridge it's actually pretty empty I have to buy milk this week we got through all the milk I think last week well what I did last week was I showed you the dinners we made but I think I'm going to start I'm not a great breakfast eater Carly eats cereal for breakfast that's sort of a given but lunches or teas um either the meal before dinner or after dinner um, I'm going to start showing you because there's a bit of a dint coming in the freezer and stuff and by what I'm cooking it's not showing you um, really what I'm using up out of the freezer it just seems to be getting lower so um, I think I'm going to include them in this week's meals of the week because um, yeah just give you a truer image of what we're actually eating because I have soup and stuff I need to get through and you know that's using up the bread and you know little things like that just a more realistic view of what we're actually doing okay guys so this is the fridge we actually only have a half i got two cream cheeses last week and i've only about a half of that one left the other one is gone um prunes i just took them out i opened them out of the pantry found a coke in my car that's leftovers from yesterday's dinner this is some fish haven't used these up yet. We'll use these this week. Um, the two soups are there. I haven't used these two soups yet. But yeah, they're good till the end of the month. Till the t uh, 28th of October. So a tiny bit of cucumber left there. That's some fish. Someone actually gave us that. So as you can see, all yogurts are gone bar two. And then we still have that drinks thing down there. Here we still have some chilli, garlic, banana milk Katie brought down with her for Carl. So yeah. So we're fairly, we've only got a tiny bit of cheese left. We ate the American plasticky cheese. Um, oh, Jesus, good catch. So there's only a tiny bit of that. That wouldn't even do one, well, maybe one meal. Spaghetti bolognese, top, maybe. But I need to get some cheese, yogurts, milk. There's no milk. Unless you like chocolate milk, which I don't, or banana milk. So yeah, so that's how the fridge is looking at the moment. Okay, so I did have a bit of a clear out of this cupboard when I was rooting for stuff. I took things out that we... um. Some of the stuff was out of date, but I took out some stuff that I knew we weren't going to eat. So, as you can see, there is one brioche bun left. There is some, what do you call them, hot cross buns. I found a four pack in the freezer, took it out and defrosted it. I love hot cross buns. Forgot I'd frozen it. That's the butter, herbs and spices. But yeah, so that's looking a bit bare bit of organisation in here, sorry the light's not great in here, it's a bit of a dull day. So we have all our rices, pasta, it's all that there. The cupboards I didn't really organise, I have to organise these. They don't look much different but they are. So I'm going to go through these and we're going to pull out stuff for dinners. This cupboard's looking a bit better. So it is. I actually had a good few of the Ambrosius. So I am. Tony, can you stop rooting, please? Good God. 
So yeah, so I'm going to have to clear out all these, go through it, go things that are in date, out of date, coming up near the date. I'm going to have to do that. These are, I think, is the biggest um, difference because I have been going through this. But look what I found. A Viennella cake. So I'm going to root in here now and see if I can pull out stuff for the dinner. I don't know if you can actually see this. These are some of the dinners we came up with. So it's plain pasta and cheese, burger and chips, bacon, sausage and chips, uh, spaghetti bolognese, sweet and sour and sweet and sour chicken and rice, and fish carrots. Carl's actually we're gonna have the the fish car the fish tonight that's in the fridge. Someone actually gave gave that to us, so we're gonna eat that fish. Um and then lunch ideas, soup and sandwiches, wraps in the toaster, porridge, but these are things. So then the egg bake in the air fryer. That's another great lunch. So these are the things I am going to try and make up. The meals. Sorry. Words have just lost me this morning. Alright guys, so this is the um shopping list I've come up with so far. So we've got milk, yogurts, cucumber, wraps, eggs, cheese block by two. Bread. Now Carl said he wouldn't mind burgers this week. But to be honest with you, if they're not on special, can you stop barking please? If they're not on special or a good price, I won't be getting them. They'll have to go for next week. I need a turnip. I'm, I sort of have a goo for turnip, but I don't know if it, again, depends. Spring onion, tomato. I need spaghetti. I need sandwich meat. I need cereal, cocoa pops. I need apple juice, chips, biscuits, and deodorant for Carl. So that is what it's on my list. If we can get it under 50 euro, brilliant. If not, there is a few things on there that I sort of am fancying, but I don't need. So I'll just show you the meals I've got out. So this is obviously, this is mine's the chips. I have to buy the chips. So we've got sweet corn, mushy peas, and fish. This is the mince. I'm gonna let it defrost in my fridge and then it'll be in the slow cooker. And I have this chunky pasta sauce. So that's that. And then the sweet and sour. So I have that, I have the rice, and I'm going to again let the chicken defrost in my fridge. Um, I like to bring at least three meals in, so then I know what I'm doing. So then for some lunch ideas, I found this in my freezer. It's a ham and cheddar crustless quiche. So I'm gonna let that defrost, um, and I will have that for my lunch, half it and then half it the next day. Beef ravioli, always, always handy to have and quite filling. And I'm going to eat these dumplings with potato and cottage cheese for lunch. There is also leftover from last night's dinner. So I might have that. I don't know if I want fish, but I might have that tonight instead. So yeah, so. And then of course we have not many options but we have options right let's get up to the shops all right guys so we are just coming out of Dunn's it is dark anyway not to worry we were late getting going but the reason we went to Dunn's this week I have a five euro no a ten euro voucher off a 50 euro shop so I literally came to 55 euro so it actually with the voucher then it took it back down to 45 a couple of things I couldn't get I couldn't get um, spring onion or green onion and tomatoes were 279 for a punnet and they didn't even look that great the, the um, tomatoes so I wasn't Nearly three euros on tomatoes now. Thanks. Thanks, but no thanks, lads. Right, I will go home. I will show you the shop we got. I may go in and get some spring onion. I'm not sure. I might do it tomorrow. Right, I'll go home, get this shop home, and I will show you what I got for my 45 euro. 
All right, guys, so this is my shop that I did in Dunn's this evening. As you remember, my budget is 50 euro, but because it was Dunn's, I had a 10 euro voucher off a 50 euro shop. So I could have either shopped to 50 and got it down to 40 or shopped to 60 and got it down to 50. It did come to 55 euro, but then I had my 10 euros off and it came to 45 euro in total. So we'll go through what I got. So over here, I got the sandwich toaster white bread. Because obviously we've been out of bread for about two days now. And Carl was having a bit of a, a heart attack. I ran totally out of spaghetti. So these spaghettis, I think were 50 cent or 59 cent, 60 cent, something like that, in around that. So I got three packets to restock. I never run out of spaghetti, like rice, just never run out of it. And I don't know how that, how we ended up running out of spaghetti. Anyway, rectified now. Now, could I have cut that down and only got one for this week? Yes. Um. So yeah, so it is what it is. I got four chocolate croissants because they were reduced down to 29 cent each. So they're already gone in the morning. I got some corned beef. Carl's not really a um, meat eater on sandwiches. He prefers cheese. So I ended up getting just 16 slices of corned beef. we will do these first. I got a, already over this side, a five pack of value jam donuts. They should have been two euro but they were reduced down to 50 cent. So it, be, it would actually be a sin to leave them behind. And then I got this for tomorrow's lunch. I got some bread rolls and they were reduced down to 14 cent each from 55 cent. So happy out with that. I also got some of the plain tortilla wraps. And they would be the large ones. I also got a cucumber. That's actually quite a big cucumber. But a few of them were bruised and soft. So careful if you're picking up cucumbers. Got Carl his cocoa pops. They were reduced down to half price. I think there was a saving of like... 280 per pack so they only cost about 280 so they were half price i then got four of the all butter brioche buns and they are the burger buns i also got six large farm fresh eggs they're actually oops i opened this they're actually a good size. So that's them there. I also got to drink. We got some pure apple juice from Concentrate. And that is a two litre, I am sure. Yeah, two litre. Oh. Um, chilled apple juice. We got the infamous Muller's Corners. They're three ninety nine for six. I was only saying to Carl, they're actually shocking the price of them. So, yeah. Now I did get myself some of these light toffee apple crumble flavored yogurts. They're a new limited edition. And I think there is six in there. Sir, can I help you? So I'm going to try these. Never tried them before, but I just thought they sounded nice. So I'm going to try them. I got two of the Irish Mature Red Cheddar. They're 480 grams. Strength level is three, which you have a one, which is your mozzarella 
and very mild cheddar up to a five. So this is a three, so it's a good flavour to it. So I got two of them. I also got the caramelised onion quarter pounder steak burgers. And I thought they looked yummy. So we're going to have them. I also, these were actually the cheaper sausages because there was nine of them plus three free. So for 12 sausages, they were the cheapest ones that uh, were there. And I thought, wait, let me have a look at them. I thought they were just, looked nice. So then I got Carl some Dove Men Care Extra Fresh Deodorant. I, think I, stink. I don't think you stink, I just think you need deodorant. I got a packet of custard creams, because yes, we had the whole pack the last time. We needed. Yeah, well I did. And then we got some Dunstores bourbon creams because Carl ate the last pack of the bourbon yeah. creams. As you know, I don't eat them. Yeah. So I got him a double pack to keep him going. Yeah, then splurge. I went in and on their special offer they had five um packets of stop it. Five packets of chocolate bars for four euro. So we got the five pack of the fudge bars, and they are only the small bars, but you know what? Late at night when you just want something nice. Yeah, we had no chocolate at all in the house. So we got the fudge, dairy milk, the little Mars. We got the Freddo, and that's the caramel one. And I think there's five in there. Or oh, six, six in there. Then we got the milk chocolate Freddo, just the ordinary one. And then we got the uh, six pack, five pack of the buttons. So they were five for four euro. And then I got a three litre of milk because we used up all the milk. That's it there. So as you can see here, <coughs> will it focus? My total came to 55.31. I had a value club voucher which took it down to 45.31 so that is the price of the shop which I am absolutely chuffed with because I do think we got quite oh sorry I forgot to show you this in this bag here we got some a bag of frozen chips because we had no chips in the freezer at all so strangely enough can you throw them into the freezer look for me so I think we did a good shop yes there was a couple of splurge items in this but um, I'm actually going to see how long I can make this last as opposed to just doing a shop next Tuesday because it's Tuesday. So guys, that was our shop from Dunn's and because we spent 50 euro, we got another 10 euro, 10 euro of a 50 euro shop for I think it's next week or the last 10 days or something or two weeks, I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look. It did go onto my app on my phone. So I hope you enjoyed that. I think we got some nice stuff. Yes, there was a lot of treats. We probably could have got the shop really low. Um, but I'm not on this to make it hard for myself. I still want to, as I said, the other night, I was like a lunatic going around the house, looking for a bit of chocolate, not a bit of chocolate to be had in the house. So I thought, no, not doing that again. Um, they weren't dear, so I was happy enough. Um, but yeah, that's it. And on Saturday, I will put up all the meals we make out of this shop sorry my i don't know it must be my sinuses are getting itchy um yeah i'll put up all the uh meals we make out of this food shop all right guys take care of yourselves bye bye